Hey intern, good morning and welcome back. Welcome back to the forced zone of our world zoo. I was just here clearing out the uh, congratulatory balloons that we have been given by all of our amazing guests for the birth of many, many a new beaver and these, uh, let's see, the Scottish wildcats, which is, or the European wildcats I should say, which is quite fun. But I was noticing a distinct lack of greenery here at the entrance. So let's see if we can sneak a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. Let me put some wildflowers over here. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more greenery over here with the wildflowers. And some peonies. And yes, in turn, I know I can hear you moaning. First thing in the morning, Zookeeper Siri. First thing in the morning and we jump on top of plants. Yes, yes we do. Because this is the very first thing people see when they come to our zoo. You know what I mean? Uh, let's come back here. See, these, this fine gentleman has brought his daughter for a wonderful day at the zoo. And doesn't the side on the left look so much more interesting than the side on the right? Because we have now added some amazing flowers. And I actually want to do something special. Let's get a secondary, if I can find it. Wait. This is just a rock formation in turn. Oh, I see what we did. I was trying to figure out, I was like, where's the waterfall that comes with the rock formation? It doesn't. We added that ourselves. Mystery solved. All right, let's put another one down over here somewhere. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, um, but it would be nice if it could be similar at least. Yeah, I think perfectly symmetrical would look a little odd, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And then we'll kind of do, can we put this one over here somehow? Maybe right here and add another one right here. Maybe finally one more <laughs> right up here. Oh, and a beaver's gonna go get birth there. Let's see how this looks. Back it up. That actually looks very nice. I, I like that, I like that. Lack of plants, lack of plants that bothers me. Oh, but let's go see, the beaver has just given birth. So let's zip over there and check on our new beaver baby. I need to add in more uh, more gates so I can get into beaver territory. And all of the baby beavers! Look at all of them! Look at all of them! Ah, oh, everybody's so cute! So who's the newbies? Hmm? Let's see if we can spot the newbies. Right here, this would be it. This would be the new beaver baby. Welcome to the family, little one. You're absolutely adorable. Are you a girl or a boy? It's a little girl. I'm actually going to name her Amy. Amy the adorable beaver. So we know that she's there. Oh, and the fallow deer are growing up. Very glad to see that. Let's see if we can give our beavers anything. While we're while we're in the midst of bugging plants around, you know what I mean? No, no little wetland pieces? Okay, you guys, we'll be back in just a bit. And there is apparently a poop to scoop over here in the Spanish lynx enclosure. Which is still very popular, but the zookeepers appear to have a bit of a um, a bit of a fit when it comes to actually <laughs> getting some of the the poop scooped in there. They're not happy at, with me for having made so many cliffs and things like that. So we'll have to see if we can maybe smooth it out just a tiny bit. Hmm, maybe not these wildflowers. They're kind of dull. Let's something brighter. Back to the peonies. What about these little things? Like the mix all together is what makes it so cute. Get over here. I, I we do have things to do today, flowers. I'm trying to just like ah, uh, trying. Okay, let's just come over here. We'll handle this calmly like adults. Open up, you stupid flowers. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, and now we're going to open up. Where's the catalog enter? There we go. Temperate grassland. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we could do those ones. Maybe, maybe. Oop, there we go. Nice big burr oak. Ooh, look at that handsome thing. Ah. If only, if only, we can only we can only affect things so far outside of the zoo zone, though. Regulations and and laws and things like that. <gasps> American Beaver 19 is going to give birth. More beaver babies. First thing. Wonderful. And let's actually go ahead and add some big, heavy, fat burr oaks over here too. Just a couple kind of kind of let the guests know ta-da welcome to the zoo isn't it nice there's giant trees you are coming to the forest zone after all i do feel that there should be giant trees in the forest zone like pretty much everywhere <laughs> that is something that we will be adding because i i was just so surprised when we came back in turn and i was looking around going i could have sworn 
There were more trees! This is the forest zone! There should basically be trees everywhere! So it's more like an arbor day what we're doing right now. There we go, get some of these over here. Big old giant burr oaks, that's fine. Um, I'll even put one right here. And one back here. And then we'll sprinkle them in over here. The deer will be happy, they'll have more cover. None of these pedunky trees, they're gonna have some real trees back here. I did not anticipate, you know, it's backbreaking work, digging room for saplings in turn, and I did not anticipate this would be the first thing we do in the morning, but I'm not surprised. All right, all right, well, that's enough for now. Well, nope, let's just finish the project while we're on it, might as well. All right, put that there. Put a few, like a nice cluster of them over here and over here. There we go. And we'll we'll tidy up the, the ground too. No! Spanish Lynx want a sick Y! Okay, it looks like the Lynx are gonna be the thing we'll take care of today. I really wanted to work on peacocks and like gathering peacock feathers and watching them take dust baths. Alright, let's put that there and that there. There. Okay. But it looks like taking care of our Spanish Lynx is gonna have to bump up in priority. Calm down! I'm coming! I'm coming, my dear! Where are you? It, oh, there you go. That should make you feel better. I know, it's not the most pleasant thing to get a little shot, but, you know, we gotta keep you nice and healthy. You too, my friend. You too. Alright, let's start moving and grooving your enclosure a little bit to see if we can make this a bit better for you. It's very prettily done, but I think that they're having some trouble getting around. Let's get out the small shovel intern, even though we just did the backbreaking work of lugging saplings around. All right, there's that. And we want to kind of come down here. I do think that that should help a bit. Let's try it. Yeah, this. Oh, I do hope that helps. It does make things a little bit more awkward in places, to say the least. Um, there we go. But hopefully that'll have helped the interior somewhat. Did that help out the interior? Are you guys able to get around now? Maybe? Perhaps? You thinking about it? Can you make it up to, to your little... Nope, just poopy. Oh! Transportation uh, Tycoon Level 1 Award. Good work. As a reward for moving 100 guests on a Jeep vehicle tour circuit or a Skytram circuit, two-seat Skytram carts are now available. Well, that's awesome. Not helpful for us because we're not a Jeep. Like, we don't have Skytrams yet, but, you know. I'll take what I can get. Alright, let's try moving a few things in here. There we go. What about that? Does that make it easier for you to get to your little your little cave? Alright, we'll poop in. That's fine. Pooping's a healthy thing for an animal to do. Good sign of health. Why aren't you sleeping? We have a nice big cave back here for you. I'm gonna put this this like shade structure at the very back. And let's see. Do you not want a cave? Do you just want to sleep out in the open? Is that what the problem is? Aha! That's what the problem was! We don't want a cave! We want a big old shade structure! I'm not gonna judge it! It is inside zoo walls! What the heck? There we go. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. That should help. Oh, and the European eel is complaining about smelly exhibits. We'll have to take care of those in a little bit. Let's just go ahead. And the beavers continue to give birth because they're awesome. All right, I think that should help out quite a bit. We have a snoozy doozy lynx right over here. And let's check where the guests can see them. The whole kitten caboodle, which they don't much appreciate. So let's see if we can get like a nice little natural rock fence kind of midway through the exhibit just to block off the back corner where they have their snooze their snooze corner that's what we'll call it the snooze corner in fact look we've got a little weeping myrtle let me see if i can add in come on whoop whoop there we go there we go and there we go and there we go kind of hides the shade structure that way there's there we go so hopefully the, the shade structure won't be as obvious and maybe that'll make the cats feel even more relaxed. So we'll leave that in there. And then is there just some sort of like nice naturalistic stone wall? I know we've got some in the catalog in turn. You never know because they, you know, even though we're between the same zones, they take away some of my catalog pieces depending on uh, how many stars we have. 
and apparently we're not super impressive at the moment. Hopefully we will be now, and we'll assign a specific keeper to this area too. Here we go. Now this is a low one. I think that people can still see over it. Uh-huh. Maybe the medium one will be tall enough, and the cats will feel they've got a bit of privacy. So maybe like this. And how does that make them feel? Do they feel like they have their privacy? No, they still feel totally exposed. Okay, well, let's try again. Maybe we'll just get, in fact, let's just get the big wooden fence. It's fine if we have a big wooden fence back here. And let's just go ahead. Hello, kitty kitties. How you doing? What about that? Does, do you feel like that gives you a little bit of privacy? Hmm. Nope, still feeling pretty exposed. Okay. Well, it's important for them to feel like they've got some... Let's see. Well, do they feel better after sleeping under the shade structure, actually? Oh, they do. Okay, well, I don't think we even need that then. Yay! They just needed a shade structure. They didn't want a, a little cave structure after all. Alright, we did make a giant mess over here, though. Holy days! Okay! I see how it is. Huge, huge, frightening, scary mess over here. Uh, let's straighten this out. That's better. And hopefully, that'll still let zookeepers get in and out. But let's assign a specific zookeeper. This is now going to be our lynx keeper. And she is going to stay right here. So. Um. I have not pronounced that name, so we're just going to go with lynx keeper. Uh. Windy. Quindy? Windy. There we go. That should keep her focused and, and on task. Oh, we're losing some beavers to old age, but that's to be expected at this point in the game. Alright, and the European eel is still complaining about a messy exhibit, so let's dive in. No pun intended. And there we go. Clean up those water filters. Whew! It's so nice, actually, in turn, to be back here and to know that there are just tasks to be done and little maintenance things like that to take care of to make sure that all of our animals are happy. And so far, they seem pretty happy. We fixed the problem with the Spanish lynx, at least. So that's a good start. All right, how's the little catfish doing? Hello, little lucky golden catfish. What do you think about life, huh? Yeah, he's got pretty much all a catfish could really want in life, I think. Let's see... He's got the- I, I think these are actually pretty cute decorations for him, so we'll leave that be. Um, but we were gonna add another European eel, weren't we? Because I think we only have the one right here. Hi, pretty! Is it female? Yeah, it's a female, so let's see if we can get a European eel for male. And add it on in. Alright, wetlands, wetlands. Wetlands, wetlands. There we go. And European eel. Critically endangered. Let's add in a little male, and then we'll just have to give it some time, and we'll have to see. Oh, and the marsh deer wants to mate! Fantastic news, little marsh deer! You are adorable, a female. Let's go ahead and get a male marsh deer uh, brought in here. Um, and I think we need some more mallards, too. So I'll throw in some mallards. Just a handful of boys this time until they get established, and we know it's safe to add females because they tend to have issues. Ooh, and we might have to add a Florida panther pretty soon. That would be awesome. Oh, and some more. Oh, the little, the little otters. Yeah, there's a lot of creatures we will be adding pretty soon in turn. Don't you worry. For now, let us see if we can find where the marsh deer are. There's the roe deer, follow deer. Let's see. Let's open woodlands. Um, hmm. Temperate forest. We've got more peafowl. A platypus! You know what? We should we should consider maybe adding the platypus. Uh, superb wire bird. Ah, some wild turkey. We should have some wild turkey roaming around in this big enclosure. It's a perfect place for it. Alright, let's put down a couple males. And, eh, you know, just a good cluster of females. And then let's make sure they have what they would want to eat. Come here, European turkey. Now what do you need to eat? doesn't say. You like your little rock formations. You like your little lookout post. There we go. Oh yeah, there's plenty of grass in here. This is a grass wonderland. And we'll just throw some like insect encouraged. Yeah, see there's insect things everywhere too. So I think the turkeys will be fine. It's the perfect kind of enclosure to toss them into. 
And Marsh Deer, where are you, little Marsh Deer? Let's check the full catalog in turn and we'll see if we can call up one of our friends and get some Marsh Deer in here. The Red Rocket! Rocket, I mean! <laughs> I keep calling it the Red Rocket. Oh, and the Greater Mass Deer! It's so cute! I can't wait to have it in one of our enclosures sometime. It is a tropical rainforest one, so we'll probably put it in the tropical rainforest. A cougar. Cougar is definitely going to be one of the, the next creatures we add in. Not in here! As much as a cougar would love it. Surrounded by deer on all sides. Alright, there we go. Marsh deer. So we have a female who's ready for a mate. <gasps> Red deer too is now pregnant! Yay! Alright, and let's add in a male marsh deer. Oh! European eel! What are you doing? Get back in, in your tank! Of course you're sick if you just like beached yourself. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, sweetie? There's a catfish. There's the shellfish. There she is. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, what a lovely- whoops, the daisy. What a lovely place. Hopefully the European eel- yeah, not so sick anymore. Resting under the sunken tree. She should be okay. Poor little thing, she startled me. It does look like we could use with a few more plants in here. Just gonna put like a couple. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, and apparently there's some, some poop going unscooped. Possibly because this is a huge area. So let's assign three keepers to it right now. Before we lose track of them. Come here, you. There we go. And there, look at that. See, they were already empty and there's poop to be scooped. <gasps> Which reminds me, poop. Poop scooping! Oh, we could be making money off that intern. You know how this goes. Alright, let's see if we've got enough research done that I can get a license, a grant, that will let us open up a compost heap here. Okay, let's see. You know, it's not every day you see someone dancing around in excitement over the idea of adding a compost building. But come on, intern. This will be wonderful for us. Ah, there we go. It's going to bring in quite the source of revenue at this rate. <laughs> we have so much poop and so much going on. I'm sure that that'll bring in a lot of revenue. All right, and the beavers are kind of going in and out. Some of them are dying of old age. Oh, that's right. And the Jeep tour is broken. I just remembered. That's why that's why we have such issues because people don't know where they're getting tossed out after the tour. They just get tossed out like against this fence. So we're going to have to fix that real quick. All right, let's go ahead. And, yeah, I totally forgot about that. So we're going to need to clear out some of these trees, unfortunately. And actually, some of these little things too. So sad. But it has to happen because <laughs> people are just getting chucked out onto the, onto the fence, like thrust against the fence, poor guys. And that's not what we want. Not what we want at all. That would explain why not very many people seem to enjoy our Jeep tours and take advantage of them either. All right, and then we're going to have it just come right around and connect people. We should just spit them out over here, I think, because that looks kind of cool. It'll make people go, oh, what's going on over there? Um, and we'll have the same thing happen, I think, this way. There's that. And then all we have to do... Ba -da 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 -da, ta -da! And then replant <gasps> the forget me nots. Oh, we need to put those at the entrance to the zoo, in turn. They're perfect. Put a whole bunch of forget me nots and some bilberries. The ever constant, always present bilberries, it seems. Ooh, and what are these? Come here. Ooh, cutesy, cutesy little ferns. I like them. They really have a powerful way of just kind of adding an accent to the area. Okay, up. Nope. I, see, I dragged myself back in turn. I was just about to run off and go put bilberries and ferns down el like elsewhere, and we're not even done over here. I contained myself. I contained myself, and now we're putting foxglove down. Okay, actually, I think foxglove would look nicer at the entrance. All right, we'll put some more foxglove down over here. Beautiful, beautiful. And zip over to the entrance of the zoo. And foxglove time. Okay, let's see. What do I think? Oh, that's so nice. So nice. Now the last thing I think we could at least do to sort of designate like which, where the zoo is and what we're doing over here is if I can get my hands on a nice big rock that can face the right direction and kind of jut off, aha, like this one. 
like this. There. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Ah, this too. This too. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. And almost there. Oh, look at that. And back up, back up, back up, back up. Much, much, much better. All right, we're getting the hang of it now, intern. Phew. And we got quite a few things done. Hopefully that Jeep tour is now functioning and won't just like spit people out into the weirdest places. Let's see. I hope. Are you all right, Jeep tour? Huh. Well, I guess we know what we're gonna be working on next, right, internet? Oh, yeah, it's working! And it actually has a ton of people. I guess people aren't afraid now that they know they're not going to get stuck inside forever and ever. Oh, and the beavers are continually pregnant. It is a wonderful day. All right, intern, let's go get something to snack on. Be careful not to snack on the random mushrooms. Oh, yippee, the little girl says. That's so cute. And then we will get back to work adding more animals and trying to see. We might adopt out a few beavers. We definitely could stand to adopt out some beavers, and we need some way. Oh, I bet the European wildcats actually need adopted out. We need some way to make some money, so I will see you next time, intern. Bye-bye.